Hello? Hello. Yeah, welcome to the pregame. I couldn't help but notice, I, I think one of my either friends or fans, Toucan LDM is blowing up right now because of a thing with Equestria Daily. And I was like, ooh, drama, you say. Wait, what, what happened? happened? Yeah, I don't know. You seemed upset because they passed you over on an animation collection. Sometimes it just happens. I'm, and I was like, well, I'm, I am I might as well step in. And I was like, I've, I was interested in talking to you like about a couple months before. And I just assumed you got busy. I was like, well, maybe I could put together a couple of his peers in the uh, anime section of the Bernie community and I could put a, a show on. Yeah, sorry about that. I was just like, my hands were so full at the time. And uh, no, 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 sorry. it wasn't just that. I was just like peed off. It's just like the way they like have my videos on their website. They just seem to like just type in as quickly as they can, not caring, just post it whatever. The real competent guy that they have there is Cal Payne is going to be stepping down. So if you thought the quality was going down the, the drain before, ooh, just wait. Uh, I only mainly use it just to look up like information about like when the episode is going to be released, the actual episodes of the MLP show and also some like fan contact because there's a lot of gr- great stuff out there. Yeah. 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 But now I, I've been on that website for it. For, for three days now, so... Was there any heat between you guys and them, or is somebody... Oh, no. Oh, okay. Not really. It's just more like I just... Every time they, like, post one of my videos onto their website, they feel... feel they don't refer me by my name. Just refer me as, oh, that guy that makes a superhero pony thing, whatever. <laughs> Try, try being an ana- analyst, see how well they treat you over there. At least, they, I always assumed that the, the animators got creamed to the creme over there. <laughs> Not lie, some people want me to be in the analysis business, but but I don't have much to say about each episode. I just It's just more like, oh, I like the episode. I didn't care for the episode. That's real about it. I don't oh. go into too, too much deep details or depth. Oh, you you don't need to apologize for anything. Uh, you you do a fine job with your channel, and uh, we appreciate your work. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. As an animator, uh, since you started, what's some of the things that you used to struggle with that have come to you more naturally now? Flying. When it comes to like either Rainbow Dash or Fluttershy flying, at first I've had a bit of trouble because I, at the time I didn't know how to do it properly. That's why in my Spider-Man meets MLP video, you see Rainbow Dash in the cloud because I was having issues at the time, and I felt like... Like, yeah, that didn't turn out so well looking back at it, but now I got the hang of it. That's all I can think of at the time. I can't think of anything else because I, I like to challenge myself with each new video to see what I can improve on as opposed to the last. Like, I will say this. If you go back and watch Batman meets My Little Pony, you notice how, like, the heads are, like, every time they talk, they talk more like a bobblehead, per se. And I, it's kind of hard for me to watch that because it was just, I don't know what I was thinking back then. But now, they're every time they talk, their heads are, like, much more smoother as opposed to I did before. So that was your Achilles heel is drawing heads? In a way, but now I got the hang of it, and your your content goes back about four years. Did, have you had some previous uh, work as an animator or as an artist before then? I usually mix up for my closest friends and families because I will often make like really short videos, just something like random. I remember one instance for Christmas, I made a music video of I want a hippopotamus for Christmas, <laughs> which I did re-upload that to YouTube, but I made some heavy changes to it because back then I used the original song, and I didn't feel like want to upload that to YouTube. So I, th- so I had. Con- Medley recorded like a cover version of it and just up and add new sound effects to it and just upload through there. So yeah, back back then before the pony stuff, I just make like really small, shorter stuff that's meant to be hysterical for my closer friends and family. Is there? And then you thought, well, I should make twenty to thirty minute long pony videos. What a great idea! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I tend not to make them too long, but sometimes it happens. Like I know with my Rapunzel and Homestar episodes, they man- managed to reach close to like twenty minutes. I was, oh boy. Sometimes they weren't intentional. I was just trying to make them as short as possible, but sometimes it just like slip by. Was, okay, that happens. How do you get them done when they're that long? What's the process there? Basically, the process for me, I had to come up with the idea for the episode first because there's two things in order to make these episodes. Episodes. I gotta know the source material and I gotta come up with as many good jokes as, co- as possible. That can be hard sometimes because sometimes I have a source material that I really like, that I wanna do, but I can't think of any like good jokes or like the story to go with it. I'm trying to think of like a good example of that. But yeah, oh yeah, originally I wanted to do like an episode. But have you guys ever heard of Oswald the Lucky Rabbit? No. Is, is, are you in a different country? No. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Did, did that come out rude? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's all right. I know not that many people know him, but he was a 
Walt's first creation, be- uh, Walt Disney's first creation of the character before Mickey Mouse. Oh, no, I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. I've just been a bit, big fan of him and such, and I want to do an episode based on him, but I can't seem to get things quite right with the episode because I can't think of too many jokes or like plot line and all that stuff. So I just ended up like tossing him to decide to work on another episode that I had in mind. And so after I have something in mind, I tend to like write down, I had to think through it. Usually it bailed like a month or two, so that way I have like everything processed in mind, like what kind of jokes, plot lines, all that stuff. I think it through. Sometimes I have good ideas, sometimes I don't. Then I go in and type it in. And I will say it's not very easy writing the dialogue part of things. I may have got, got like jokes, plot lines, ideas, but for dialogue wise, it can be kind of tricky knowing what the characters are going to say, like how they're going to present themselves. So that way it doesn't come out as a two year old wrote it or something like that. Because I'll, I'll be honest, I'm not that great at writing dialogue per se. I'm just more like a humor type guy. Is there any animators that you think are good writers? There's plenty. Can't think any on top of my head. I know Animated James has some pretty good dialogue. Oh, yeah, he's great. Yeah, I was going to say Animated James and Viva, who's here. Oh, I, was a, two. I was about to Are say, it? if you can't think of anyone, just look yeah. at the people in the call. That's always a safe answer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not really great. So sometimes I got to like, once I get the script done, then I contact the VAs. I want to do each voices. And while I wait for them, I tend to get like the character models, backgrounds all set up. And then once all the voices in, I start animating, which depending on my schedule, will take about two three months depending and then once all that done i go into oh by the way if you guys are curious i animate with photoshop and iMovie hd yeah. i know that i know it sounds weird saying that because most people use flash i just stick with photoshop i won't go into great details how that works but it's very helpful for me and but uh, anyways after i'm done with the animation part of things i take all the clips and start editing them onto adobe premiere that's where i add like certain like effects sound effects and all that stuff and then i would just go from there have it export upload to youtube and there we go work on the next project uh is there anyone who inspired you when you you got started started on animation yeah in general all right i will say i'm a huge fan of slapstick humor like stuff from like the three stooges looney tunes tom and jerry all that stuff i know that's not really common nowadays because most of the comedy now are just word driven dialogue driven all that but i feel like a bit of slapstick humor is really great. I mean, if you go back and watch a couple of the classic Three Stooges shorts, they pretty much held up for the most part. Yeah, some of the shorts back then are like, that's for the humor side of things. As for animation, I tend to look up stuff like cutout style animations, like stuff like Monty Python and especially South Park, because even though they look cheap, they have a certain charm to them, just how the way they're like animated. Yeah. yeah. He's just it's- watching. Oh, there we go. <laughs> in the corner. There, there we go. Oh, yeah. Okay, he's on. Yeah. Hello. Yes, I'm just that guy in the corner with the extra mic now. <laughs> what up? So have we, uh, have we actually started yet? Or? Oh, yeah. we only asked like, you know, inspirations yeah. for animation and um, no, nothing massive. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let me just let me get this set up then. Boop. His humble beginnings. <laughs> Best beginnings. All right. What's uh, some projects that you maybe didn't have the most faith in, but uh, paid off really well? I will say my for my the project that I had like no faith in. Well, actually, this isn't like my more, more personal thing. It connected I with thought, your fans more than it did you. Is what I'm asking. I'll be honest. I didn't think the Spider Man episode didn't do so well for for my end of things because I know like that's what everybody wants to see me do ever since I did the Batman episode, and I try my best to, like do what I can do with him because. I try to make him like a mix between the Spider-Man you know today and the 60s meme Spider-Man because back then I was like that was a big thing the 60s Spider-Man meme so I try to make him more like a jerk a PG rated jerk because I tend to keep my P- uh, videos PG because I know that I have my little cousins watching my videos but anyways yeah I, try- I I did my best with that video and I didn't think I really pulled it off so well I felt like I made Spider-Man too much of a jerk some of the jokes didn't fall flat and I really hate my spikes my my spike voice <laughs> my impersonation of him it just at the time i couldn't find anybody that could do his voice so i just supplied my own and it just uh... well uh, on that note is there any vas that you haven't gotten the chance to work for with or get for one of your projects that you'd like to uh, as of right now not really i just tend to like i tend to like use my uh, the ones i use in the past or if i were to look for somebody i just tend to like go to their channel and see if they're like interested or not because i do know a, a wealth of vas who'd probably be Glad to get the experience of working with you and your channel. They're definitely, oh yeah, two, two and, knows a good number too. Uh, you've you've met Will, right? Oh, oh, Will, who's Will? <laughs> <laughs> no, 
Uh, it's actually through Will that I, um, that I discovered Toucan here over on the, I believe it was Batman meets MOP. I think it's the one where he was the Joker. And so that one, he, he was shilling that to everybody. I'm like, oh, this is pretty cool. I didn't hear it. You like the minute you, you said go back and listen to that one. It's like, oh, it is Will. Damn it. I didn't. It is. Honestly, it's one of his best roles. <laughs> Yeah, he surprised me how well he can do the Mark Hamill Joker. Like I thought, when he, as soon as he sent me that edition, I was like, "Yep, you're the Joker." Yeah, he did a really great job. Yeah, I remember I was the I was Doctor Hooves in um, Frozen meets MLP. Not <laughs> that was that was an interesting role. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, that was. was- I was watching that episode earlier today, and I was, wait a minute, that's Toon Critic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I know you sent me that edition a while back, and I told you, like, <laughs> if I ever need a Doctor Who, then you'll be my person to do that voice. And then I got, I may have a small part for him, and I was like, I, where is Toon Critic? Well, you know what? I've always felt that the best English accents come out of Chicago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, you know what? British Ninja, when you hear that, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Moving along. <laughs> <laughs> of the various voice actors you worked with, is there anyone that you, that you have any favorites? Oh, I'm not one to pick favorites. But um, that's no, that's right have... up there with Anthony C's super freaking goddamn safe answer. Oh, I love everyone equally. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, everybody does it like a great job on their ends. But if you know, if you notice, like with most of my videos, I tend to reuse some of the one PAs I use in past videos, like Will, uh, Miss Bunny Swan, Sheila Gagne, Edward James, just to name a few. And they all did like a great job, no matter what role I gave to them. And sometimes I'm like kind of like nervous when it comes to, like getting hiring new people because I'm not sure if they'll be willing to take the job or not. But it all depends if they're up to work, up for uh, up for it or not. Are, are there I? Are there any uh, specific voices you're looking for for characters? Again, I, I know a couple people I could recommend, or it would depend on the role, though. As of right now, I'm pretty much good. You know, sometimes I tend to like post like auditions on my Facebook page, so <clears> that way if I get a chance to like look at it and be like, oh yeah, I would like to do an audition for that character, and then just submit my lines, uh, their lines to my email, and then they'll just I'll decide which ones are good, which ones are not good. Oh man, have you ever had someone send you a really weird audition? Like what? <laughs> Like, they've gotten some strange things from people that are not actually auditions. Let's put actually, it that way. Wow. Are we talking, like, not good or, like, cringy or, like, anything else around that? Yeah, we, you, anything. Anything unusual. Like, cringy, not good, awkward, really funny. I've gotten a lot of really funny stuff. <laughs> uh, there was this one instance where somebody sent me their audition lines if I ever wanted a Thomas the Tank Engine video. Which oh, I- <laughs> boy. I mean, I didn't get a chance to, like, look at it. Not th- I mean, no offense but it seems like i wasn't really <laughs> planning on it but he just sent to me anyway so you gave me a wonderful idea the next time you do one of those auditions you should throw me the uh the throwaways the ones you don't use you ever, <laughs> like, there's this show called superstar where i think they they sent home the best people and they kept the crappiest ones <laughs> oh, <laughs> you gave me a horrible uh, idea <laughs> Yeah, I'm not one to like sound like mean or anything, but there was this one instance where I had hold audition for the Homestar episode. I had hold auditions for Strong Sad, oh, and boy. yeah, some of the ones I got don't even come close on sounding like him. But it's still more like way off. Like that's my fault, on my end, because I didn't. I think like those people don't know who Strong Sad was, or at least know what Homestar Runner is. I would assume they just like look up the character and just watch some videos and they take some ideas from that. But I did manage to find like one person. Thank you, Tyler. That's the most I can think of when it comes to like those auditions. Me. Have you had any uh, notable low points as a content creator that you had to bounce back from, whether it be lost content, various animation mistakes, uh, your preferred editing software just decided to corrupt itself that week? Oh, that's a good question because it goes for like the episode I'm currently working on right now, the Sonic episode. There was this one instance where I was like, I was animating a 20 second scene. And this is one of those few cases where I didn't like save it every time I do like a certain line of dialogue. And then all, I worked for like an hour and a half on it. And then all of a sudden my software quit on me and I didn't save it. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I mean, I like, if you ever guys want to see me in my most furious moments, like <laughs> so pissed off, that would be that moment because I'll be like yelling all over the room. I would just be standing up, walking back and forth. And then I'll calm myself down and just like, okay, just relax. Just work on the different scene come back to that other scene later and then yeah i didn't manage to get that one scene completed now but oh that's just like so frustrating and i mean don't get me wrong i do save each process 
is every time I like do like a certain scene. But that that one instance, I was like, why did I do that? But as for like past videos, I'm trying to think if, I, if there was. You usually know when it's happening, right? When you get that, you know, the, the the loading thing, like, oh crap, it's crashing. Oh crap, when was the last time I saw? Oh it? yeah, I have a Mac, so it has like the spring of death. So I was like, oh no, <laughs> no, no, no. And then as soon as I stopped showing, it's like, oh, okay, good. It didn't quit on me, thank God. But whenever yeah. I get, whenever I get the the loading wheel, the loading, oh no, um, the, if the thing crashes now, I'm gonna lose like a ton of progress. If per chance I don't, in fact, lose a ton of progress, that's just like, okay, I'm saving right now. That I'm not <laughs> not saving. It's like exactly. a good reminder. I know I'm like that as well. Every time that happens. Yeah. What computer do you have? Mine's a crappy laptop. Well, it's not that crappy, but I <clears throat> I like permanent have like 40 tabs of google chrome open at once so oh, it becomes no. crappy <laughs> yikes so you safari safari since i'm a mac oh yeah I've, yeah i've got uh, windows 10 does mac do they generally render faster or i don't really mess with pc so i can't really answer that my guess but i will say yeah maybe <laughs> i don't know <laughs> if i were to guess i only know about safari because i have an iphone because it went with the contract uh, uh, yep contract. i'm one of those schmucks that's all right we won't judge okay or at least i won't judge sure. he's sitting in his head i'm totally judging you right now you seem to have a, a fixation on torturing lyra and bonbon is there animosity <laughs> toward that part of the fandom or is it just a running gag i know a lot of people want me to tell them about like why I have something against Lyra Obama because I because I got nothing against them personally but I find <laughs> the way they became famous for background characters is just ridiculous and, okay Derpy I can understand Doctor Who's understand Lyra and Bon Bon what makes them so special well apparently from what I've been told is Lyra has a thing against with humans and I don't quite understand the whole concept of that so, like every time I see like a meme that has like Lyra assessing his hands it's like, what I don't get all this it wasn't until like a friend told me I a year ago it says oh the reason because all this is because at one episode Lyra was sitting like a human and then <laughs> I don't know that back then that whole thing abused me so that's why I made that running gag of them like being abusive Has, but now I've grown to like it's kind of weird for me to say it, but now recently I've become more of a fan of those two because of that is there any more recent characters that have you know raised your ire <laughs> that are going to become your your, your your new torture you know instruments of aha uh-huh, I need to kick that part of the fandom now not really it's just more like, I didn't have like everybody get abused in each video too bad but it's more like simple slapstick stuff okay I know in my Superman video I have like Flash Century get crashed three <laughs> different times and I got I don't I don't hate him or anything it's just more like I know everybody else hates him so I thought like okay I might as well just torture this guy for this episode <laughs> but no and then people thought like I was bike and honestly that only happened for like two episodes the Batman and Spider-Man episode yeah. and I didn't really attend that be like a running gag thing it's just more like it just happened because how would you react if you see like a little baby dragon in real life? Okay. Wouldn't you just like go up and beat it up? Even though that's throw like a Pokeball <laughs> at it. Throw a Pokeball at it. Yeah. Even though that's like technically child abuse, animal abuse, if dragons are considered animals. It's weird talking about this. But on no, I on today I don't know on King of Limbo, two can LDM told me to beat up babies. Oh jeez, no. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm not saying that. <laughs> Treat your baby's respect. Careful with your words there. <laughs> yeah, it's from a bit. I didn't even think about it until you like rethrew it back at me, so you know, whatever. <laughs> the power of paraphrasing. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> Don't hurt child abuse kid people. Indeed. Child nope. Abuse. How many dead baby jokes are in the episode? <laughs> no. Jeez. <laughs> Jesus. Well, I can start with a few of them if you want it. Oh, look. <laughs> you need to stop hanging out with my girlfriend, too. <laughs> <laughs> Well, she's a bad influence, let me tell you. Well, okay, that's my fault. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, who started it? Probably. She used to be a cinnamon roll. I'll have you know I screwed that up marvelously. <laughs> How about outside the fandom? Um, I noticed uh, on your Facebook you were saying, oh, every time you're about to put something out, your fans will be like, oh, when are you going to do this MLP thing? When are you going to do this MLP thing? If you had a chance, you know, to break away from that, what would you ideally like to be working on your channel? Give yourself a break or whatever. I always want to do a video that's parroting Disneyland because <clears throat> I, I am a huge Disney nerd. I, I've been a, like a big nerd of Disney since like I was like a child and I've been like obsessed with it comes 
sometimes like the newer new stuff, older stuff, their movies, theme parks, sometimes their TV shows. You a but, Star fan or as well as? Uh, oh yeah, I like I like Star, Gravity Falls, mm-hmm. Wander Over Yonder. Not much with Phineas and Ferb, but that's a different story. I I've been to like Disney World and Disney uh, Disney World and Disneyland a couple times that I'm just like so obsessed with it, and I always want to do like a video that make fun of it, but also celebrate it at the same time. Have you guys seen like I uploaded a video a while back? I did something similar to that, but with like Walt Disney World. You guys saw that by chance or not? Not if not, then that's okay. I haven't seen that. I hadn't gotten a chance yet. I did glance over a couple of years, but those were the ones I did. Uh, so that's like a, a, a video I made like a while back, and I just re-uploaded just with different audio and sound effects, but something like that, but with Disneyland. And I'm not sure whenever I'm going to get a chance to do that. I know I'm going to, going to Disneyland in September, maybe sometime after that, or at least when I have the Sonic episode done, maybe. I don't know. I'm usually bad at predicting what video I should do next after the one I'm currently working on, but it all depends like what I'm in the mood for. Okay, no. I've never been to either Disney World or Disneyland. The closest thing I've got as a frame of reference is Universal Studios Japan. Oh, you've been there? I've been yes. That was oh. uh, that was a fun thing. There was, <laughs> there was like people mascotting around as Charlie Brown and Snoopy, and that was really weird because <laughs> it's like they didn't know that the entire point of Charlie Brown's character is that he's supposed to be depressed. <laughs> so that was funny. <laughs> yeah, same time I see that as well when I would go to like Cedar Point because they have like the Charlie Brown characters there as well as like okay, he's not supposed to be happy go lucky all the time. Oh, poor Charlie Brown. <laughs> That blockhead. Hey, blockhead. He got work in anime. <laughs> what? Krillin. <laughs> oh. Oh, I, thought you said, I thought you met Charlie Brown. No, no, yeah, what? no. I was about to say. Basically, I've had a, a friend back in the day who pointed out. He's like, you know, basically, I'm looking at Krillin from DBZ. He's Charlie Brown. <laughs> he fails oh. at everything. He's completely unhappy. <laughs> he's old. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's a midget. I was, confused. I was confused what you meant there at first, but okay, oh. now I understand. I don't really watch Dragon Ball Z. Sorry. Oh, no, no, you're fine. I've heard some people in the, the fandom of Come On Guard when you're like, oh, I haven't watched that. What? Judging by your uh, comments on Facebook, you had uh, some thoughts that you'd possibly like to share about the new Powerpuff Girls series. As My in, thoughts? Yeah, I, I could elaborate here as an artist yourself. What are some of the technical or otherwise flaws that you would like to share your thoughts on? Let me put it like this way. For the show itself, I want to give it a chance, but after the few episodes I watched... <clears throat> It just became worse and worse just because of the whole quality, the characters themselves and all that stuff. As for like the art direction for that show, I didn't really have too much of an issue with it, but I can see where the people are coming from. And honestly, there, there are some like animation errors that are like very noticeable that's like cringeworthy. Like that one instance where like they have like Mojo like walking his dog and then all of a sudden hit the leash disappeared out of nowhere. It's like, how on earth did you miss that? tolerable i guess i don't know i don't really <laughs> you don't. it's tolerable yeah you don't. <laughs> it's okay <laughs> sir if you don't like it you don't have to pay it lip service no one in here is gonna jump up <laughs> oh no <laughs> years from now that's what i want people to say it was tolerable she was tolerable it was good, it was good tolerable stuff i didn't that's bad that's vomit. good I didn't vomit. <laughs> that's another five-star review i didn't vomit <laughs> oh, <laughs> that works too. But no, the last thing I watched of the Powerpuff Girls was when they did that crossover with Tea Times Go. Mm-hmm. Just out of curiosity's sake, and I regret watching it. I didn't yeah. know that was a thing. That was a thing. <laughs> oh, God. I'm always a sucker for crossovers, as you can tell from my channel. Were you surprised by Pat Oswald's accurate portrayal of a, kind of like a nitpicky brony fan? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that yeah. Was great. Some people put it in another reviewer in the community. Yeah. He's not several that- reviewers in the community. <laughs> I, I can name say, a few, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> I've been but, that guy. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'll not gonna on. lie. When I was watching the episode and I heard like him like randomly on about like nitpicking all the things, I was thinking to myself, that's a brony analysis in a nutshell, right there. <laughs> I don't want to say who though because I haven't really watched too many analysis. I can definitely see somebody like doing that from what I've seen in all the videos of analysis. Oh, but can we, Are you a fan yeah, of any of those? Sometimes, but some. It's more like I'll watch it if I'm like need something to watch. I I'm working on stuff. Tolerable but, again, huh? <laughs> tolerable at best. 
<laughs> like sometimes I'll watch some of Toon Crits, uh, Golden Fox, Voice of Reasons, just to name a few. But uh, Logan, yeah. you get you get mad street cred. He didn't say Silver Quill immediately, right? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I'll be honest, I don't I haven't watched his stuff. Huh? Yeah, I know. I'm no, like no, he's a cool th- guy. I'm just surprised. I was like, well, that's that's a refreshing oh, no, because it, it's oh, no. it's such a I'm common sure answer. Yeah, I'm sure he's a cool guy. I just haven't got a chance to watch. It, I, so. I, no, 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 sir. I'm genuinely saying thank you for just d- a different change of oh. pace. No, oh, okay. busting your balls. No, no, I'm being 100 percent sincere. It was. I think it's, yeah, it's so rare to hear that i've had ryan going let me guess your favorite is silver quality like he even cuts him off at that point <laughs> oh, i'm a first i'm glad what other uh, fandoms do you belong to um aside from the brony part of the disney fan base mm-hmm. and sometimes the super smash bros fan base and that's about yeah. it but only I, sometimes only yeah sometimes. Sometimes. mainly because like whenever they release like a new game i'm always like hyped to see like okay who's going to be in this game who's going to be in this game all that stuff but who's- once the game's released and i've been playing for like a couple months and i'll be like okay i'm done with smash brothers for now who's your, next- uh, who's your favorite yeah, you- smash? <laughs> i love me some smash bros like definitely yes, like the, the competitive side that's something i've i have a lot of fun with i've been playing it a lot recently i played some smash bros yesterday so there you go oh vivi who's your uh preferred fighter in smash oh god it's not one i play like every character you know what ironically every character except for like toon link Huh. I used to play Toon Link, but I don't play Toon Link anymore. Basically, name a character, and there's a seventy percent percent chance I'll say that I play them. DD. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I only have a couple friends who play the game. <laughs> but uh, to answer, wait, did you say a name? I, I yeah, I said uh, I, I, I said D D D. Why am I quiet right now? King D D D D. Oh, oh King D D D. No, I don't play him. I thought ah. you said Vivi. Oh no no, uh, I, it was a uh, Vivi. I, I I have a friend that he that's his uh his his favorite preferred um Smash person. Blah, blah, blah. I kind of want to try him out though. Yeah. Decent. My favorite character <laughs> to play it. <laughs> Tolerable. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, it's going to be a thing, isn't it? <laughs> Adding that one to the list. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> King DD, he's just tolerable. Indeed. <laughs> but no, my favorite character to play on Smash Brothers is uh, before the fourth one is always Jigglypuff, but now it's the fourth. Oh, get <laughs> out. Yeah, I can't even talk to you anymore. Jigglypuff. <laughs> Are you Jigglypuff? kidding me? Jigglypuff How is the best. How do you play that best? thing? What? Jigglypuff. You guys get out of here. Do, uh, what are, uh, you, are you talking about? Because I don't, I haven't played past Brawl. I haven't played Brawl. I've only played the, you know, like the cartridge. The old. Oh, yeah. And then the one after that. No, I used to play like Jigglypuff a lot in Melee. As for Melee, Brawl, she is really good in Melee. I hate Jigglypuff so much. <laughs> <laughs> it floats. There's no gr- there's no weight to it. It's like a person but who can't why animate. She's it's so floating good. off into the distance. Her floatiness means that you can just jump around the character's attacks. She is <laughs> great. Plus, she has that rest. She has rest. All right, rest well, is we so much fun. To settle this the hard way. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, well, if you guys smash later just record it and throw it online i'm sure you'll get some views with that <laughs> no, i'm sure all right i would so get that what oh baller i definitely would like to see that you have an unlimited budget it's april fools what is your ultimate prank sir my ultimate prank i'll you go around the room if you want <laughs> all, all oh, animators okay. can answer this one <laughs> okay who wants to go first uh, unlimited budget why not all the pranks <laughs> I have a list. Oh, no, a I point. have a list. I'll just go down the list and pay people to execute every one of those ideas. <laughs> Oh boy! What's what's that <laughs> um do... what's that thing from Star Wars? Execute our uh, what was it um the, the the thing where they wound up killing all the Jedi? I could see a crown prince going execute. Was it number sixty six or something like that? Command. <laughs> I'm the only Star Wars fan in the call. Jesus. Oh no, I'm uh, a Star Wars. I fan, like I Star Wars, but I have no idea what you're talking about. So yeah. yeah. Same here. I mean, I like Star Wars too, but I'm not like that far into the logic. And <clears throat> no, no, it's fine. I kind of know what you're talking about, but I can't think of the name of it. Yeah, I only, I, I could only remember it because I saw the robot chicken skit so many damn times. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so pranks. I sort of, whenever April Fools comes around, I always like thinking, oh, I'm gonna make my April Fools joke like really elaborate, and then I don't end up going as elaborate as I'd like to be. So with an unlimited budget, just something that's completely completely off the wall dumb insane one off and just and that's the video <laughs> like just just uh, a single video just like and i never retread the same ground again seeing your stuff i know you can pull something off like that oh, yeah. <laughs> oh vivio i wanted to give you credit i think one or two of my friends who saw your your uh and his name is john 
absolutely oh. adored that. <laughs> oh yeah, that that was a good. That was a funny. Nothing like a subverting an obnoxious meme that's been done into the ground because you know very very few content create high tune would, would <laughs> continue to contribute to that. But uh, if I were to pull an ultimate prank, at, at one point I was doing an April Fool's joke on doing like people getting hyped up for like the Sonic episode because that <laughs> along with Deadpool are like my most requested videos to make. And so I thought, what if I do like a small video that's like people thought I was going to do the Sonic episode, but it turns out it's like something completely different. But then I think to myself, this is a Sonic fan base I'm dealing with. There's, <laughs> they're not the finest of people. So I thought, unless like, you insert their OC into it, they're not happy. So I figured. <laughs> How I mean, are you prepared? How are you prepared to deal with what's going to happen when you release the Sonic video? I have no idea. I'm just gonna. He's no plan, no action plan. <laughs> not really. I'm let just the gonna... comments roll in. Yeah, exactly. I'm just gonna let the jump comments... off the internet. Yeah. Oh, when... I will say this. A little bit of spoiler. For my version of Sonic Me MLP, Rainbow <laughs> Dash will not be in it, nor will she be mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, something completely different. <laughs> I say, yep, I'm betting that top comment's going to be, where's the Rainbow Dash versus Sonic? Who's the fastest? <laughs> I need to know. If you want to know, just watch Anime James. That pretty much yeah. answers that question. <laughs> James already did it. That is yeah. your answer. You seem to have a, and maybe I misunderstood this, a deep appreciation for comics. What are your thoughts on Batman versus Superman? The movie? The movie? Yes. I hated it. Good man. <laughs> just I, elaborate. So I, love, I love how you didn't put the foot around there he just came out with it it was shit <laughs> yeah it was other shit because i have so many problems with it okay let me start the <clears> you <throat> think i like i did like batman wonder Woman was good and that's about it the rest is just i mean it's not like cringeworthy per se but there's just some moments where i was like oh uh, why is it? actually the most cringeworthy for me lex luther i hated that version of lex luther <laughs> or lex luther jr but i seriously doubt that's the case but whatever i just found they tried to make him like the joker and I don't think they really pull that off really well. I feel like Lex Luthor is more like the straight business guy, per se. I mean, from the stuff that I've seen in the mm-hmm. past. And if they want to make him crazy, they got to do a way, way more better job than what they pull up there. Because Jesse, I got nothing against Jesse Eisenberg, but it's just more like he tried, but it didn't succeed. I also hate Lois Lane. I hate the pointless ending. The whole, the way that Batman and Superman became friends felt really, really <clears throat> quick. Mm-hmm. And I just... Martha. Martha! <laughs> it's like... Uh, oh wait, was it Superman that says Martha or was it Batman that says Martha? I forget. I, think, I haven't seen the movie, but I'm pretty sure it's Superman says Martha when when Batman is... Wait, no. Oh, yes. okay, yeah, that's that's right. That's how much I don't care about it. I just don't remember who says who. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I will say this. I'm keeping my fingers crossed for Suicide Squad and Wonder, Wonder Woman. That's no good. You killed my next question. Oh, <laughs> I was about to say you hyped for Suicide Squad. I was like, ah, maybe I'll get there. Nope, he killed it already. <laughs> Sorry about that. What's, what, gonna... what, for Suicide Squad, what are you looking forward to then? Hopefully it doesn't suck. <laughs> <laughs> That's another stellar review by Tuka and LV LVM. Hopefully it's it tolerable. doesn't suck. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be tolerable. <laughs> I want to give that and Wonder Woman a chance. And if I end up hating both of those films, then I'm just going to give up on the Justice League, the, the whole universe, because you can clearly tell they're cashing on the Avengers so badly. Did you catch the uh, Killing Joke animation they just put out? No, but I seriously want to watch it. I know it's out it's on Blu-ray. It. I, I heard really great things about it. I'm thinking about like stuff by don't no spoilers but but i really do want to watch that i haven't really get a chance to like watch any of like the directed video movies because i don't think like n- not many people talk about them assault on arkham's pretty good but i'm kind of assuming it's i keep having the mental thought that that's what suicide squad's gonna be it could i yeah. don't know suicide squad is trying to be like guardians of the galaxy they're trying to capture out on oh we have a bunch of oddballs so we'll work with that so now you mention it that does make logical sense what the heck dc <laughs> <laughs> oh well i know my brother is like a big DC fan and every time I like talk to him about the negative things about the films he'll just like go on for hours about how DC is much more superior than Marvel which don't get me wrong I love my brother but we all have different opinions on sort of things and I do respect that but he just he just like he's just one of those big DC fanboys fingers crossed I'm just hoping this at least good enough to watch tolerable but, tolerable <laughs> I hope it's good enough to watch and not vomit too <laughs> right <laughs> that too <laughs> but yeah Oh, well, I, only time will tell. What's the biggest thing you've wasted your money on as a content creator that you would advise uh, 
yeah. young budding talent to avoid. I have the past because I can't think of anything right in the top of my head. I, as, are you talking about for like YouTube stuff or like personal stuff? I meant YouTube stuff. I didn't. That's oh. if you want to answer personal stuff. I wasn't gonna. Ask, <laughs> I wasn't gonna be so bold oh. as to be like. I bought this twenty pack of Mountain Dew once. <laughs> I bought this body pillow that I commissioned of oh. myself. Jeez. <laughs> Did you oh. really? I feel like you would actually do that. No. I, okay. No. Actually, I was saying hypothetically. Geez. <laughs> if I made one, would you buy it? I mean, would you be offended silence. if I didn't? You know what? You know, I got an answer for that. Uh, my 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 current girlfriend's a weeaboo, so I would buy it for her. <laughs> I'm sure the bulging eyeball would be would be the tops. Yep, definitely. Yeah. Oh, that. Yep. So speaking of which, apparently those are canon and MLP. <laughs> <laughs> why did they have to do that? Why did they have to do that? That that just that just sparked a whole other line of things that we didn't need to talk about. We, I, well, no, I'm going to bring that up this. when everyone's like, we can't have death on MLP, but we could have Doki Makras. No, I got to lie. As soon as I saw that. <laughs> My mind was literally blown. It was like, how on earth did they pass that through the sensors? Or at least, did the sensors know what <laughs> I, those I, are? Yeah, I'm assuming they don't. <laughs> I, I, like, I saw that, and immediately I thought of the I want a Dokimakura for Christmas video. Uh-huh. I just oh, went no. to yeah, some people yeah. don't know so, not that video. I was, <laughs> that video. It's legendary to me. Uh, I broke a few Dash is in the scene where this is happening. How could you not think of that video? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Actually, that's what makes it even better. Who did that video? Was that anyone who was noteworthy? No, no, no. I don't think it's, so. Yeah, <laughs> I did it. Okay, you know what? I wouldn't have been. I, I wouldn't have known. <laughs> you know, if you would have said animated that- James, I would have just believed you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, that does seem like something, but, you know. That's the best guess I could come up with. <laughs> that, that scene, when I first saw the, when I, when, well, actually, it wasn't when I first saw the body pillows, because it didn't click right away for me. It was a bit afterwards when somebody, like, said it after the fact. It, it was one of those things where I sort of think back and say, this, this is in My Little Pony. This is a- an actual thing in a show called My Little Pony. <laughs> like, <laughs> My Little Body Pillow. Oh boy! It's, How would you great. have felt if you your, your kid comes back with like a tablet, points at it? I want this for Christmas. You, you're done watching this show. <laughs> I was gonna say, how? Do, what did the kids think of that? <laughs> you gotta wonder why they. I'm assuming they just didn't know. Uh, yeah, I would have just yeah, thought I'm, it was a pillow. You know, a silly right. thing on a pillow. It's clearly. I don't know. I just feel like most of the writing this season has been like, hey, let's do whatever we want now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ever since the fan base, it just seems like you throw in as many like inside jokes as possible and it's nothing new with like any show i know like some shows in the 90s they tend to throw in like adult humor pretty subtle ones the ones like th- the one i can think of top of my head is animaniacs like, like right there when is yep. it the, the prince line oh yeah that prince <laughs> line okay i know why at first i was confused by that joke but it wasn't until like later on oh oh <laughs> yeah i didn't get it when i first saw it <laughs> right over my head shit. rest in peace prince you'll be missed indeed <laughs> Any thoughts on the latest Equestria Girls trailer? For the new one? Yeah. I'm not as much of a fan of the Equestria, uh, Equestria Girls series. They're all right. But for the latest one, I just fe- see it as just like another like filler, per se. Mm-hmm. It's kind of weird. Like I re- we're getting these as like movies, per se, instead of those like their own series. Because this seems like something that can be as like its own like episode or a TV sh- series. Of like a question of girls if they, if they ever were to do something like that instead of like a full length movie, I'll watch it. How do you feel about the fandoms uh, and how the way they've handled, I don't know, Alicorns, for example? I'm not gonna lie. See what you're trying to do here. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, what? Nothing. Nothing. Not Nothing everything's about ahead. lightning bliss. Jesus, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I don't hate uh, lightning bliss. I don't look down that far. Not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, I want to hear the answer to this. <laughs> for, like, certain dramas, for, like, what the show does, Alicorn Twilight, Equestria Girls, all that stuff, I will look into it. Oh, that's new. That should be interesting to watch. But after hearing, what, hearing what everybody's reaction towards it, all I gotta say is, guys, it's a show for little girls. Calm the fuck down. <laughs> it's not meant for you guys. You guys are just like the tag-alongs for the show. That's like unexpectedly, but 
I do respect what the show creators do. They want to try something different, all that stuff. Hey, it's better to try something different than something that's been done over and over again. Am I right? I guess. But Memes. Uh, I- memes. More memes. Do it again. All of the memes. <laughs> memes every episode. Ten memes an episode. One so, like, meme but- every two minutes for those keeping track. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but no, I don't really like partake in those like those those dramas because I just found them to be pretty pathetic. It's just more like if they do something new, then that's great for them. I'll, I'll still watch a show without bitching or complaining. In fact, every time I do watch an episode that I don't like, I don't go online to be like, "Oh my god, this episode sucked." You guys should not w- watch it. No, I'll just be like, I just don't really care for that episode. Go on with my life. The one, the one thing that like made me mad about. You know that one episode, Philly Vanilli? Yeah. And how like, people reacted to the way that Pinkie Pie was acting that episode? Ooh, let's send death threats to Amy Keating Rogers. Maybe that'll fix the problem. No, no <laughs> it won't. That's like the most cringiest moment of this fan base. Why would they do that? Okay, not gonna lie. I didn't like the way Pinkie Pie was acting that episode, but it's just that one episode. It's just nothing happened, but it's not to the point where you like go to their Twitter and be like, oh my God, you should fucking die, you. <laughs> it's like, no. <laughs> Why are you acting like spoiled brats and just, just no? Sorry, I've overreacted there. It's just sometimes. Sometimes stuff like that makes me so mad. I thought the appeal of the show was that deep down inside the main six were all jerks. Exactly. Everybody's (laughs) a jerk. I mean, who would watch the show if they were like, you know, not? It'd be a bunch of, you know, cadences. G3 ponies? Yeah. (laughs) I thought they were jerks in G3, too. They just weren't fun. Yeah, some of them were jerks from what I saw, but... I've only only watched other people kind of like comment on it because I was like, yeah, I'm not going to have a good time here. Go ahead. Well, I've only got really one left and this is going to be a quickie, I suppose. What are your thoughts on We Bear Bears? I like it. It's a pretty nice show, though there was one thing that really bugs me about the show and it always annoys me every time I watch a new episode episode is that nobody refers to ice bear by his name that always drives me nuts you think like he's a main character you think like somebody would like like spew out his name i'm not sure if this is like part, some kind of like joke or build up to a future episode but i don't know i just find that to be really annoying does he have a name ice bear oh okay yeah it's like a third person every time he talks he's like ice bear something something oh i just assumed that was an animated james joke when he's like ice bear hates men of humor no no ice bear <laughs> is probably one of the best characters in the series. oh he is best character in the show i've never seen this show i didn't I, know I, honestly there you need to i've it's seen some it. clips I've, I've seen yeah clips I, I saw people were hyping it before it came out and i was like yeah hey, i gotta get around to watching it and then i just never did and i was like oh, i'm sure it's the guilt still good it's yeah. cute in small doses oh yeah everything on the network <laughs> pretty much it's just one of the few shows yeah, i watch on yeah. cartoon network i could take gumball at five minutes at a time yeah, yeah. I, I'll take yeah. it at about two. one episode. <laughs> yeah, it's about that. I'd rather watch Teen Titans go. I'd rather do uh. work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's right. what the five I'd minutes is do for. Work. There's the FNGR review there. <laughs> <laughs> I would rather do work than watch this. <laughs> I'm surprised now you mentioned Steven Universe since we're talking about Cartoon Network. Well, you know, oh, is I guess you have to take Network your show? I guess It is. It's a great yeah. show, but I'm not going to hype it to like to to the highest highlands of Highville or whatever. I mean, it's I it's exactly. <laughs> I don't know what it is about that show, but it makes me cry every time. <laughs> it's very I, emotional. It, but here's the, the thing, heck? though. I love the show. It's a great show. I fucking hate the fan base, though. <laughs> exactly. oh, I, I haven't. Mm. I have no I, experience with the fan base at all. I, I, crown, crown. Most, I, let me let me put it to you like this. There was an artist who tried to draw one of the characters in her own style. Oh, I heard and about the this. fandom turned yeah. on her and basically told her to kill herself. I heard about that. That pissed me off so much because going back to what I said, like the whole the, the fan base taking things way too seriously just needs to stop. I mean, there's more important things to life than just bitching about something that happens in a fictional show. And that's why I'm with you, Tune. I hate that fan base so much. That's one of the fan base says I can't stand the most. I mean, nothing I think- against the show itself, but it's just that fan base. Yeah, I think it's a case of, like, it's okay to be, like, critical of something in moderation. Just, like, don't let it affect you beyond. Don't let it get into, oh, you need to go kill yourself territory, essentially. Right. It's alright to criticize, but don't be an asshole. Yeah, basically. I wonder what it is about that show that cause causes that kind of, attracts that kind of people. Because I was going to mm. ask Toucan what the relationship with your fans is like. You've got thousands 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 of subscribers do you still read all the comments
comments? Do, do you have the kind of fans who write little short comments, or do you have the ones that write long paragraphs? Do you More have fans, or you just have watchers? More on both. I know I got like some people that are fans, but then the majority of comments I do see is like, hey, make this episode, meet MLP, make this one, make this, that, that, that. It's like nothing but requests. I noticed that with my Sophia, the first episode I just released, the majority of comments on that were nothing but requests. And I was like, oh boy. Well, well I Toucan, just what you, you know. what you need to do is a st- open up a Patreon and make that like the $100 tier. <laughs> <laughs> you know, somebody was telling me about that the other time, the other day, and I was it's not really my thing. I mean, I'm making, I'm making good enough money as it is with my other job, but it just seems... I mean, I could in the future, but... It could help regulate things. Yep. I mean, it could. Depending but, on how you do it. Right. Plus, I do animation. I mean, I can't do... It depends on like, how how long it'll take to make that request. I mean, the Sonic episode is definitely a requested episode that I'm currently working on right now. And I'll be honest, I'm not that much of a Sonic fanboy. I got a few friends of mine that know more about Sonic than I do, and they help me write the script for this. I'm only for the greater good at the end. <laughs> but we'll see. Knowing the Sonic fan base, I don't know. I think I'm prepared. We'll see what happens. It's why I, it's why I don't say that I'm a, that I'm a big that I'm a part of the Sonic fandom. I'm kind of I'm just I'm just distance. I'm just I used to be. I kind of am, but no. That's all right. The most I know about Sonic is just the first game and the cartoon series, The Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. Is watch the- Sonic Boom. Just watch the entire. Just just watch everything just spiral down into hell. Is that the <laughs> terrible one? That's yes. That's the new yeah. one that's out. And the terrible so one. I, isn't there a couple of terrible ones? I've there only are. I only saw the, the the stuff that was on VHS tapes when I was a kid. That's what I saw. The one the where you had the chili dog original, fixation. The chili dog fixation. Yep. And yeah. I always that's, wanted to that's eat the chili dogs. Of Sonic I didn't. The yeah, yeah. I, I I was completely confused when people like the Sonic fandom. I was like based off of that cartoon am i missing something <laughs> no it's about all the games it's about all the cartoons it's about all okay listen there's the good side and then there's deviant art oh boy, <laughs> oh boy. yeah that, that applies to pretty much everything no matter what fan base if you say if, deviant, okay look. here here do, do yourself a favor anybody in here yep. google cold steel the hedgehog that's all, all right. you need to do Thanks. that is the sonic fan no, nutshell no thank you i i, I leave me for another time <laughs> I'd like to point out, by the way, uh, that um, um, everybody can can shut up about Sonic Adventure 2 because I don't care what anybody says. I love that game. <laughs> oh, yeah, me too. Like in a half ironic sense, like that's like a really goofy game. Oh, Sonic Adventure 1, I purely like ironically. It is really dumb. Sonic Adventure 2, I legitimately enjoy playing. Yeah, um, Sonic Generations and Colors are my favorites. Generations is good. Um, I've seen a bit of Colors. That That also looks good, too. Yeah. The last Sonic game I played was the racing one where he's in a car for some reason. So, okay. <laughs> Thank you for that too. <laughs> you know you know what? If uh, your 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 other podcast, that's gonna get attached to that somehow tune. You're gonna oh, great. The- I look forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, Tune. Good luck. Jesus. Oh, uh, no regrets. <laughs> it is my it is my my pride and joy every day. If I can I'm find someone who's never this. heard of this. <laughs> I'm reading this now. Oh, I gotta share one of mine with you. I'll I'll go look for it. You know what? Okay. Read it off into the call. <laughs> Okay, you know what? No one oh, I'll read it. I will gladly read this shit. Hang on. This is this is a pleasure for me every day for anyone who's never heard of this. Oh, All right. I asked for it, didn't I? <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> I gotta I gotta get my best narrator voice. <clears throat> Cold Steel was born with a special power. He was stronger than all his classmates in the Sonic Fighting Academy. He served in the Sonic <laughs> military fighting Shadow. And in the final in the what? final battle against Shadow, they were fighting, and Shadow turned him to the darkness, and Cold Steel turned against Sonic and killed him. He lost a part of his ear in the battle which is why he doesn't not have a part of his ear please stop pming me asking me why that's why also earrings aren't girly fuck you chaos kids 663 everyone knows you're a fucking pokemon skin <laughs> oh yeah okay. likes hurting people being badass motorcycles nine inch nails the band killing death punk rock jinko jeans skulls darkness hot girls with big boobies who are sluts nine inch nails on finger Earrings, purple, cool kind, not gay kind. <laughs> Wait, what? What the heck? <laughs> Dislikes, niceness, happiness, Levi's, Kevin Robinson from school. Fuck you, Kevin. Stop showing everyone my fucking <laughs> DVD, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> 
Oh, no. I almost died. <laughs> Jesus. Ow. <laughs> Tread Razner, Short Dales, Chaos Kid 663, Sh- Sunshine Life, My Dad, Football, and his end quote, Psh, nothing personnel, kid. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh, there's no way that that's a legit thing that somebody made. Like, I'm, I'm 999% <laughs> yeah, sure. It has to be someone like, like you or me making it fun. Yeah. Oh, my God. I, I just lost it at the Sonic <laughs> Fighting Academy because that sounds like <laughs> such a deviant thing. <laughs> It sounds like one. I don't li- listen or read any fanfics of Sonic. Not that I want to, but I can't, I can't even handle some of the pony fanfics. I love the fourth person li- or the, the the fourth wall callouts. <laughs> In the <middle> of the- <laughs> that makes no earthly sense. You know, that it had to be somebody just fucking around. <laughs> How old was that person that wrote that? You'll never know. God be willing. Yeah, I think it's best we don't know. I I think that's a wonderful place. No, that's not a wonderful place. That's a place that we're going to end this podcast. Is that okay, everybody? Unless you have something. That is perfectly fine. You can't. Where do you go from End on a high note. A high note. Yeah, this this podcast is tolerable. Indeed. I'm kidding. Hashtag. Tweet it. Toucan LDM. Hashtag tolerable. (laughs) All right. Uh,